1971, the headlines of the Pawtucket Times said that the plan was to have the building demolished and all the horses auctioned off piece by piece. And Mrs. Edna Kent Partridge of Pawtucket decided to have the children in the neighborhood go out and have petitions signed to uh, save their beloved Derby horses. And they received hundreds and hundreds of signatures and they brought them to City Hall. The, because of such a public outcry, the mayor and the city council members in the community realized they had to save the carousel. So in 1989, I was promoted to the recreation director, and under my purview was the historic loop carousel. Prior to me coming on, they did a restoration, and they actually hired a car painter to go over and paint all of the carousel horses, more very cartoonish in the rest. So I went over and found out that uh, Bill Finkenstein of RNF Design did a historical restoration of the uh, loop carousel figures. My father has been doing carousel restoration for over 40 years. When he did the restoration on this ride, he was lucky enough to find in different places original designs underneath paint uh, that he was able to bring back. It is all hand blended, all hand painted, 23 karat gold leaf. We try to keep the same look as it would have had when it came out of the factory. Some of the figures are menagerie figures. Usually the menagerie figures were something that they actually went out of their way to get for the ride to improve the beauty of the ride. One of the great things I love about the carousel is, is the hidden treasure inside, which is our, our Wurlitzer organ. Uh, it was brought here about 1995-96, and the organ runs on paper rolls, and it definitely adds a whole different ambiance to heat the carousel. The carousel proves is a great economical way for a family to get out and enjoy the day. We are still to this day, 50 cents per ride, which I'm being told is the second cheapest in the country. I'm not sure if that's true, but 50 cents is quite a deal. Through the years, they've had um, special events that have brought publicity to the carousel. And like this past weekend, usually 10,000 people come and see the Royal and Philharmonic right outside the doors of the carousel, followed by fireworks over the lake. So it's a, a great community place to have events and have the community get together. We're extremely grateful, of course, mayors of the past and present who provide their support and other organizations uh, that are always trying to enhance and keep this around for another hundred years. That's the privilege of working at a location like this. It becomes your home and so you want to make the best of it. You want it to have an impact on future generations and so with all of that support coming together we are extremely blessed.